Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Monday, the 18th of May. Starting off with a uh, request, uh, Bluebird Merchant Ventures. Uh, we see a rising trend channel here from March. Uh, good consolidation here around uh, the three to three and a half to four pence area. And while we're above that last uh, support area, three and three quarters, looking for a top of March channel as high as six pence. Perhaps allowing down to towards that uh, gap around three and a half as a stop loss, uh, but uh, looks uh, pretty strong, uh, especially as we're in the wake of a golden cross buy signal between the 50 and 200 day moving averages last month. Uh, next stock, uh, one of the uh, chats most uh, chatted about uh, today, uh, Eris Resources. Here we've got uh, this uh, V-shaped bull flag, in fact a floating one in, in the sense that it's above the we're holding above the uh, gap. Uh, from April uh, la- from uh, last month uh, through the four pence area that tends to be uh, the uh, more uh, bullish of setups and also the 50 day moving average at 3.62 uh, pence starting to edge up as well the view at this stage is while we're above the uh, 200 day line at four and a half pence looking for a top of September price channel target as high as 10 pence over the next month or so uh, I wasn't going to cover uh, Horizonte minerals because normally it's a bit of a slow mover but uh, Looks like it's speeding up a bit now with the push through the 200-day moving average at uh, 3.3 pence. End of day close above that today should be enough to uh, take us to a new stage up to the top of a rising trend channel from November at 5.5 pence. And that target while, uh, valid while we hold above the initial uh, April, uh, May rather resistance at 2.8 pence. Uh, looking on to uh, one of the stocks which uh, is one I've, I've tried to avoid in the recent past but uh, Finally, it looks like uh, Lamprell is uh, going to deliver the goods. I, uh, we've broken this line of resistance from February. That's at 10 pence. So while we're above 10 pence uh, and, the, to- and uh, the top of this uh, falling wedge uh, from uh, the last, uh, well, from February, looking for at least a retest of that uh, uh, March resistance for- at, uh, at 16 pence uh, initially and perhaps up to 20 pence is the best case scenario, which was uh, support on the way down in uh, December. So plenty to uh, look forward there, uh, as well as uh, the uh, bullish divergence that you can see in the RSI window also helping uh, the shares at the moment. I haven't looked at Novasite for a while, largely because uh, the price action has been, uh, I thought, rather scary uh, all over the place uh, in the recent past, and uh, that's sort of continuing a bit now. But we've had uh, direct buying uh, announced, I believe, uh, today or just uh, recently, and uh, also a higher low versus uh, that low, that neckline support, 273 uh, in April. Uh, the view at this stage is at least while we're above uh, that low, uh, we are, we're likely to consolidate again back towards the 400 pence area, but uh, end of day close above the 20 day moving average at 387 now, required to give us the next uh, new leg to the upside. Best case scenario, a target at the moment up to £7, which is a February resistance line projection uh, if we break that 20-day line in over the next few days. On to a stock which uh, I think is uh, making its debut, at least in the near term, uh, uh, 1 p.m. PLC. Here we've got a break of this uh, resistance line from March and the 50-day moving average at 17 pence. Above that, looking for Uh, A journey back towards uh, support on the way down around the 26, 27 pence area, which is also the area of the uh, 200 day moving average. Best case scenario target at the moment up to the top of that rising trend channel I've drawn from February at 32 pence. Uh, So a pretty exciting setup for that situation. Uh, Physiomics is uh, next. And uh, here you can see that um, uh, we've got uh, a break of this, uh, uh, I suppose, uh, a falling wedge at uh, five pence uh, for the share. So above that on an end of day close basis, looking for a partial or even full uh, retest of uh, that uh, spike we had uh, last month, uh, 10 pence plus, and uh, the target value why we hold above the floor of this wedge at four pence. So let's see what happens uh, there. Haven't looked at uh, the next stock for quite a while. Uh, Polarian Imaging, uh, obviously we had that pullback from the spike in January. Uh, but it looks as though the shares uh, at least holding above the 20-day moving average at 25 pence. And while we do that, uh, we could see a top of January trend channel target as high as 47 pence over the next month or two as a best case scenario target. If your course is on the stock, maybe you want to see a break of 30 pence first, which was the old April peak before 
considering to press the buy button. Uh, next up, uh, or final stock, in fact, uh, stock which has uh, uh, got excited uh, with regard to um, uh, state building by a famous investor, or appreciated investor at least. Uh, it's uh, Xeros uh, Technology. Here you can see that uh, the shares just uh, dancing around the old peak of 1.32 over the last uh, couple of sessions. Uh, but at least while we're above 1.2 one, uh, pence, which is the initial May resistance, looking for further upside uh, to retest. Uh, the uh, old November resistance just shy of 1.9 pence. Let's see how that goes over the next few sessions. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.